Hello everyone and welcome to my sanctuary. Today I wish to share with you an Atlantean pre-dynastic Egyptian mantra that my inner plains mentor, Thothara Ra, gave to me a few years ago. In essence, it evokes the guiding star of each individual coming together to form a tree of marvelous creation. It is to be chanted seven times or multiples of seven, as many as you wish to chant. So I'm going to be chanting a few multiples of this for you now in this environment, in this sacred setting. And I will also be using the Tibetan bowls that I have here in my in-world space, which are actual recordings of true Tibetan bowls. And let's follow the feeling of this and develop it. I, I found this the other day and I thought, yes, you know, this is the perfect thing right now because I see on the planet, I truly see this amidst all the muck and the ruin and the chaos and the falsehoods. I see a beautiful, shining being arising. And that being is coming from all of us. I see it in actions that are being taken, in people that are stepping up to the plate to assume roles in this movement. I see it in all kinds of ways. And I feel that this is what we are doing now. We are invoking a guiding star in each of us, and it is coming together to form a marvelous tree of creation new creation, new earth consciousness. That said, I would like to begin.
When you work with this chant on your own, or even using this video, try to focus a tree of light starting at the root of your chakra, the root chakra, and moving up through the head with the branches coming out of the crown as if you were wearing a starry crown on your head. And see the energy moving up, very white and brilliant, coming up through the chakras, expanding to the crown of stars on your head. Engaging in this practice at least once a day, even it's, if it's for just seven times or 14 times, um, would be a very good practice to help you align to these new frequencies, these new earth star frequencies, um, and helping us to all come together in this and yet maintain our individual signals, light codes and triggers that are so important as, as human beings so that we're not amorphous, amorphous. We don't come together as one just conglomerate whole. We each have individual parts to the whole. And that is important still, to be individual, and yet to offer from our individual selves that crystalline experience, that crystalline font of DNA divinity that we can offer up to the whole because we all come from the same great tree, and so it is.